Hey everybody. So I wanted to walk you through that 32123 method for analyzing a piece of poetry. Now, what's the point of this? Well, when you're looking at formalism, which is the first lens that we're talking about, um, formalism asks you to look at just the words of the poem itself. Okay, and how do those words, how, do the, how does the poem itself create meaning? Irrespective of the author, the time period, uh, the historical context, none of that matters. All that matters is the words of the poem itself. And so um, in order to understand those words, you have to analyze them. So you can use whatever method you're comfortable with. You can use diddles or tpcast or the 32123 method that I've been talking about. <clears throat> Any of these will help you to analyze a poem. And all of those fit under the umbrella of formalism. So when you're looking at a piece of writing through a formalist lens, you're just taking one of these methods, tpcast, diddles, soapstone, 32123, whatever, and applying it to that poem to try to find meaning. That's what you're doing. So I'm going to walk you through using 32123 with the poem that you see on the screen here, The Death of the Ball Turret Gunner. So first we have to read the poem. From my mother's sleep I fell into the state, and I hunched in its belly till my wet fur froze. Six miles from earth, loosed from its stream of life, I woke to black flack and the nightmare fighters. When I died, they washed me out of the turret with a hose. Okay. So the first step is summarize the poem. So I'm not going to follow exactly like how many sentences and whatnot, but just to give you an idea. So first, if I'm just summarizing this poem, it's about a guy who, um, was a ball turret gunner who died. Okay, simple as that. Okay, I'm ignoring the metaphors, I'm ignoring the symbolism, the imagery. It's a, a graphic, detailed account of a ball turret gunner who died. So just some context for you, if you don't know what a ball turret gunner is, back in World War II, uh, let me see if I can find a picture real quick. Ball turret gunners, World War II. Okay, so this is a ball turret. Uh, and you had these big bomber planes. If you read Unbroken, then you know what I'm talking about. But you had these big bombers during World War II. There's a slightly better photo of one. Um, and they had these guns all over them called ball turrets. And the gunner would sit in these things, and they would shoot at fighters. So there you go. There's some context. So there's my summary. It's about a ball turret gunner who dies, very graphically. Now I'm going to look at literary devices. Now I'm going to pick metaphors and imagery, okay? because there seems to be quite a bit of imagery going on here, and I'm fairly certain we're dealing with some metaphors because there's some confusing language. So, um, what are they doing in this poem? Well, the imagery, look at the imagery. I woke to the black flak and the nightmare fighters. Black flak is the, uh, flak is the shrapnel that enemies would shoot at the bombers with from the ground. They would have these massive guns that would basically shoot exploding shrapnel up at the bombers to try to uh, destroy them. And this is, when I died, they washed me out of the turret with a hose. Again, very graphic. So this, this imagery is depicting a very um, negative view of the war. Um, seems to me like this author is attempting to paint the war as less than idealistic, um, something that is forced upon him. Okay, 
we have hunched in its belly till my wet fur froze, again, a piece of imagery. Um, and I talked about metaphors. Well, I think that this piece of imagery ties into a metaphor. We have, I hunched in its belly, the belly of the bomber. He was hunched in that little ball turret. If you saw that picture I, pu I pulled up, that ball turret gunner did not look very comfortable. It's a very tight fit. Um, Till my wet fur froze. Maybe he's talking about the hair on his arms. Maybe he's talking about a fur jacket that he wore. Um, either way, it's freezing up in that high altitude. His mother's sleep. Now, is he talking about his literal mother or is he talking about um, the motherland? Because he says, I fell into the state. Um, you could say the state of consciousness or the state of being. But I think he's talking more like a state of government, a state of uh, some sort of nation, because the word state is capitalized. So from my mother's sleep, maybe the sleep is um, the motherland's uh, anti-war stance. Maybe it's the ideology of feeling like, you know, USA, US, you know, nationalism. Um, this sleeping of nationalism, but he was asleep feeling this national pride until he was put in this wartime situation. And then he woke from that and he, he woke up from that and he realized, well, maybe, uh, maybe things aren't as amazing as I thought in this country. Okay. What would the speaker's purpose, based on everything I've said so far, what would the speaker's purpose be? The speaker is the ball turret gunner, not necessarily Randall Gerald. Um, the ball turret gunner. I think, based on everything I've just said, that this is a person who is very, um, I don't want to say woke, because that's not really the, the correct term, but he has woken up from this... Um, mirage that he had of what war was like and what uh, serving one's country was like. And he's had his eyes woken to um, the realities of things and they aren't great and he's not happy. So what is his purpose? His purpose is to paint a more realistic picture of war. Okay. Um, and how does he do that? Through the metaphors, through the imagery, that when he died, they washed him out of the turret with a hose. They didn't even care about him. He was just another cog in the machine of war. They being the state, the government, um, the country. Okay, so the complexity. I think you're dealing with um, this paradox, this um, contradiction of what one believes versus the reality of the situation, what one believes the situation to be versus the reality of it. And I think you see that in this poem where he woke from his mother's sleep. He believed in the cause, if you will, but then he fell into the reality of getting drafted and he was loosed from the dream of life. He was wakened and uh, separated from this ideology, this nationalism, into the harsh reality of war. And then, putting all of that together, what do I think this poem is about? I think this poem is an anti-war poem about World War II. putting all of that together. And that is an analysis using the three, two, one, two, three method.